Hey folks, Dirty Does here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, not today is not a stick fighting video. I'm not going to be covering that today. But what I am going to cover is something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, most of you know I do stick fighting. But what you may not know is I actually enjoy collecting canes, walking sticks of all different sizes and shapes. And uh, I recently went on a trip, and I wanted to share with you guys uh, one of the items that I picked up on that trip, and then another item that I found at a local thrift store. The first item I'm going to go over is a cane I found at one of our local thrift stores. Uh, normally when I go to thrift stores, I'm, I'm looking for video games and video consoles. Because I also collect those. I don't normally go to those places looking for canes. But this one spoke to me, and I'm going to talk about why it did. One is the price. The price had to go to $3. Uh, in fact, I still got the um, still got the little sticker on it. Don't know if you can see it there. But I only paid $3 for it. And uh, not a bad deal for a nice little cane. Now, I'll say one thing though about this cane is I don't really care for the size of it. It's a little too thin for my taste. Uh, I like a stick that's a little bit thicker so I, ha I know I have a stick in my hand. I got a good grip on it if you know what I mean. But other than that, it's a good length. It's about waist high or if high, which is about where you want a cane. And two, it's got a nice wide crook. It's about as wide as my hand, if you can see that. And the reason why I like the good crook is I use canes for hooking and grabbing opponents or crook canes. And that's why I like a good wide crook. So I can hook the neck or hook the leg, you know. So on and so forth. Another thing I like about a wide crook is you can even use the tip of the crook as a weapon. That can be used as a striking weapon, either as a, a punching weapon or you can use the tip of it as a, um, a weapon against soft targets and uh, pressure points. Uh, but that that's really... Really why it, it jumped out at me because it's really the perfect cane for what I need it for. So I could not help but to snag that one. So now let me show you the other one. Uh, the other one I got when I was on a trip to um, Colorado, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. And here's the funny thing. I went through all three states. Didn't find a single cane or walking stick. None. Zero. Zilch. So when I got back to Oklahoma, the first stop, or the first stop we made was in a town called Clinton, Oklahoma. And we were at a truck stop there, and as I was looking around, then what, nothing was really jumping out at me as a souvenir until it got to the back, the very back. There was a little box of canes uh, in the back, and I thought, wow, those are pretty cool. They kind of resemble a cane I already have. I have another cane. Well, I could stick about the same length made by a company called Rosa. So when I seen the cane, that's who I thought made it, because it looked exactly like theirs. But it's made by a company, I believe, called Happy Hiker. I could be wrong. Uh, don't know the make of the word because it didn't say it on the tag. Wish I still had the tag. But uh, it's very solid. I've been playing with it for a while. It looks very um, free form. You know, like it was just taken right off the uh, tree. It's got some bends to it. Um, it feels like it's still got the some of the original bark left on it. 
Uh, it's got some designs. Don't know if you can see it, but it's got some little carved designs right here where you would grip it. And uh, that's pretty cool. And then what I really like about this cane is it has like a tapered top. And that would be a really good uh, striking weapon for soft targets. You can get into the eyes, the throat with that with that surface, or I meant with that end. So that's what I really liked about it. And here's the kicker, folks. I only paid 10 bucks for this cane. And that is a really good deal for, for this type of cane because I've gone other places and bought similar canes like this. And they're well over $20, $30. I even seen a few that were $40, $50 a piece. And normally I don't like to spend a lot on my canes. Uh, mainly because they're utilitarian. And I use them for not just martial arts, but I use these in my everyday life. With me having a disability, as I'm getting older, I'm finding it. I'm finding it that I'm needing to rely on something to walk a little more uh, upright, you know, rather than hunched over. Because my balance is not as good as it used to be. I still, I'm getting back to where I'm having trouble maintaining my balance. So these canes are coming in handy. So that's a dual purpose of why I collect. One, as a martial artist. I, I like to have a good weapon. And two, it aids me in my walking. And I also like the design of a lot of the canes that I collect. And so I, that is why I wanted to share these with you. And maybe down the road I'll show you more of my collection. Uh, I hope you all like this video. Please give me a like and subscribe. And like I always say, the more the merrier, and the more I can do as this community grows. And by the, by the way, before I go, I wanted to say thank you to Tulsa YouTubers for subscribing to my channel. There's a few other people I wanted to say thank you to for subscribing. I'm sorry if I don't remember your names. But I, I am very honored to have you guys with my channel. I have subscribed to you guys in kind, and let's just make this community bigger. So this is Duger Does, saying do good, and deuces. Bye-bye.